Narcissists are everywhere around us. In case you're new here, my name's Jonathan Noble. I'm a divorce and family law attorney licensed in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And I handle cases quite often where there's a narcissist on the other side. Divorce cases, protection from abuse cases, child support or child custody cases. And these narcissists are brutal. So I wanted to just give you a little inside information on things to look for in case you're dating someone or, God forbid, married to somebody that shows some of these traits. And I've seen some of these traits in my own personal life with other people. And boy, if you know what to look for, you'll save yourself a world of hurt. All right. Number one, uh, narcs are actors and actresses. It's just a performance typically to elicit a response from you to serve them in some way. So if you have resources or a skill set, that narc is going to try to draw you in somehow where you can provide something to them. Uh, in my case, I would meet women and when I got the antennae up, they're like asking me to perform legal work for them. Or after meeting them, they confide that they're really not divorced and they want me to handle their case. Or they have other legal problems that they need a lawyer for. That's usually not a good sign. So if you get a feeling that somebody is into you for what you can provide to them or serve them, that's strike one. All right. That's a huge problem. Now, I'm not saying that if you have a great skill set and you've been dating for a while and they can use your help uh, and you want to give it, that's no problem. That's up to you. It's when they're attracted to you because of what you can do for them. You have money and they need money. They need their rent paid, their light bill, whatever. Uh, that's, a, that's a big sign. Number two, and this is almost universal, they play the victim. Oh, I had such a bad this and a bad that, and I'm really had a very unlucky life, and, I, and you can hear the violins playing in the background. These people will g take sympathy from whoever will give it to them, and they will keep you hooked, because why? You're a good person, and you want to try to help them. They have no boundaries, no matter what it is. Uh, you can't imagine some of the things they'll ask. But first, they'll size you up uh, to see what they can extract from you. These people are everywhere. Don't get tangled up with one and don't marry one because they will squeeze you like a lemon through the divorce machine. You don't want that. Um, narcissist relationships are a numbing experience for the empath, for the person that they, they, they bring in. You just want to like feel numb. It's better than feeling like you're in some sort of connection. And sometimes if you are beholden to them for some reason, whether you need them financially or for some other reason, maybe you were dumb enough to move in with them, you're stuck. You are totally stuck and they will beat you into the ground. Um, if they dismiss you or minimize you in any way, if they kind of just listen to what you have to say but not closely, and you find them maybe uh, on Facebook, on their phone or Instagram while you're trying to have a serious discussion, they don't give a shit about you. You're only there to serve them. If you get a whiff of this, get out now. It's not going to end well, and do not marry. Uh, another thing, and if you're, I know I have a lot of young people in my uh demographics in my audience and my subscribership based on the analytics. But if you don't have a lot of experience with uh, intimate partners, they're very robotic in how they touch you. They don't kiss you with passion. Uh, it's terrible. But if you don't have experience, you can't maybe can't tell the difference. So if someone is touching you in a very cold way, or they're with you in a intimate way or a sexual way, but they're not really into it. It's they're just going through the motions. They're a hollow on the inside and you need to get out of that relationship. All right. 
I don't care how thirsty you are. It's not worth it. Narcissists, I liken them to those chocolate Easter bunnies uh, where they're hollow on the inside. They may look good on the outside, but they're hollow on the inside. And it's just a matter of time before they corner you in a position where you, you'll pay dearly to get out of the relationship. Narcissistic abuse, they're going to try to trauma bond you where you feel like you can't leave because you will destroy their lives. That's what they want you to believe. Don't fall prey to that. If you marry someone like that, it's usually two, three, four, five times more expensive to divorce them because they will burn the earth when you break up with them. It's called narcissistic rage. How dare you break up with me? How dare you not serve me anymore? How dare you think that you can just walk away without paying the big price? I've seen it happen through the lens of a divorce lawyer. And the only people that really make out are the lawyers. Don't do that, all right? Vet carefully. Understand this personality disorder. Some of the traits I just talked about are shared with histrionics and other personality disorder people, borderlines. But narcissists, in my experience, they want you as their servant. You're there to serve them. And uh, if you don't have a lot of experience, you're going to get snared up. All right. Be smart. Share this with somebody walking around blind. All right. If you like the video, like it. Consider subscribing. Love to have you as part of my community. Be careful out there.